My new show is Heal Your Hole. Um, it's my new stand-up comedy show and I'm very excited because I'm coming to Limerick on January 17th to the Bell Table. Here we are in the Bell Table. Hopefully a little bit, bit fuller than this. Um, so Keen, we, we so far I think we are probably 70% full so we have another uh, another 30% to go. So it'd be great if we had a full house on the night. It's a good start. So yeah, yeah, no, it's very popular. Um, it seems like there's a lot of holes need healing in, uh, in Limerick. <laughs> so that's great. Now I'm in Cork um, and that's sold out. Um, so there's a major need there for uh, people getting their whole scene to. Um, <laughs> but uh, Limerick is, uh, is picking up too, yeah. So uh, Heal Your Hole, where, where does the name come from? Um, well, I was doing Ireland's Fittest Family, the celebrity one, and uh, like Z-list celebrity. And uh, I won it and I won 10 grand for cork arc cancer. But I broke my coccyx during um, the first trial, fell off a ship container. Okay. And yeah, and uh, Donica just shouted at me, Donica O'Callaghan get up off your hole and get on with it. And that was like my calling to, to basically, it is a good motto though, just get up off your hole. So that is kind of my, my theory in life, stop fecking thinking, start doing. So it's a story about, um, I tried to become a healer myself once. Um, I worked on a phone line, charity phone line. I worked as a nutritionist, worked as different things between um, TV jobs. And I kind of got fired from them all because um, I have my own way of healing. Kind of got fired. Yeah, I got let go from the from the, um, the 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 phone line because I would just want to get straight to the point. I can't be sitting around listening. Just tell someone get on with it. Or um, the nutrition. I'm sure, I was trying to heal people, getting them to trying to heal them one beat at a time. And you know, people have to heal themselves. So uh, yeah, I learned the hard way. So uh, comedy is another way of healing people. You can laugh your whole off. Yeah, exactly. yeah absolutely. No, I, I I do plan on healing every hole across Ireland one laugh at a time. Um, no, it's working out and it seems uh, the title is, 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 uh, is quite catchy for people. And, uh, but it is, the show has a heart as well because um, my mother passed away this year. So I have a little hole in my heart from, um, from that and it's about filling that in as well. Um, so it's spiritual, emotional, physical, and there's one other of those four ones, isn't there? <laughs> Mental. Mental. Um, so yeah, it's about, uh, there's, a, there's a good mix of it. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, the whole array. So, so what do you think people will take away from the show? They, well, they probably should wear incontinence pants because they'd be laughing so much. Um, what will they take away? Just a good crack. Because, you know, there's nothing worse than being in a boring play. I've been in boring plays and I feel so sorry for the audience. Like, I feel like giving them a moonie or something in the middle of it to get them, give them their money's worth. Like, you will never feel trapped in this. You're free to go at any point. Like, it's, it's you know, this is... Oh, like uh, once I went to a Shakespeare and um, it was three hours and I suggested to my husband after, I said, that Shakespeare wasn't bad, you know. And he said, how long was it? I said, it was three hours, you should go see it. And he said he'd prefer to slam his scrotum under the car bonnet than go to see a three hour Shakespeare. So at least with comedy, do you know what I mean? You might not get every joke, but hopefully we'll have a laugh. You know what you're getting in for. You know it? what you're getting in for, yeah, yeah. So uh, you're looking forward to playing in Limerick, obviously, and you mentioned you were in yeah, I did Angela's Ashes recently. No, that wasn't a bad. That was that a was really fun. That was, was <laughs> that was very good. That was music, movement, um, and comedy. It was actually funny. Like people yeah. were going, Angela's Ashes, that'll be dark. It'll be all about dying babies and rain. But you know, there was a bit of dying babies. There was a bit of rain. But mostly, it's comedy, and it's won loads of awards there in the last week in Broadway and other places. So hopefully, it'll go to the West End and Broadway, um, whether I'm involved or not. But I had a great time in the Lime Tree back in July. And the audiences were great. I know it's local and you're great to support, but they were better than the other audiences. Board, <laughs> gosh, audiences, oh my God. It was like tumbleweed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, you're, you're coming back to Limerick and not a musical this time, it's comedy. Comedy, yeah. So what's it like making that move from being in musical and kind of serious theatre and then changing to Look. Comedic? Nobody takes me serious anyway. So everything I'm in, even if I'm in a straight drama, I'm doing this thing dead still soon on RTE and it's quite straight. It's about 18th century taking photographs of dead people. It's something they did in the 18th century. If someone died in your family, you got a portrait shot with the dead body, whether it was a child or a granddad or whatever. And again, I'm in that with Mark O'Halloran. Um, he's from Clare, isn't he? I think he's a, a writer and actor and I'm playing his wife. And again, you know, it's serious, but it's mad. So, yeah, and I did the clinic years ago and that was meant to be kind of straight, but sure, I was just a lunatic in it. So, um, yeah, like I, I have three kids as well and th like nobody takes me seriously. So I might as well do a bit of comedy. And at what point did you decide to do the comedy? Um, I actually got landed into it accidentally. Um, I, it was a fundraiser for the Moat Theatre in Nice 
and I offered to help out and then I said to be on my own and I said lads I only have this comedy show in my head that I could develop and I had two weeks to develop it I developed it sold out made loads of money for the the most theatre in Nice and from then I got interest from other theatres going so I've worked on it obviously quite a bit um because it's a different story when you're doing fundraiser and you're actually you know paid audience so um this is uh, this is the real thing so, so you're in cork tomorrow and then you're going back to limerick and then you yeah. have Dead oh Stone yeah Stone. i'm doing wexford doing Rathoth, drahada dundrum um the moat again they've had they're having me back the civic and tala and there's other places looking as well band here down the road are considering it there's another place in cork looking at it um so I guess you can you could just keep going but for now I, I'm really looking forward to the bell table because I'm from Cork so they're just going to be they're, they're either going to be really kind or really mean I'm not sure <laughs> but bell table I'm like I'm kind of Limerick but not Limerick spent a lot of time in Limerick growing up at the races and coming up and my sisters were all in UL so I feel I've one foot in Limerick so it's like I know you're you know I'm just really looking forward to it and this this theatre is ideal so yeah so uh Apart from Dead Stills, is there any other plans for anything? Yeah, I got an offer of a great job with Channel 4. Um, so we're waiting to see, um, anyway, I can't, an Amazon or something. So it's, it's, a, it's a good part, um, filming soon. And I'm, yeah, there, I'm down between two parts. So I don't know, I can't mention the job, but it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah. But what's that like to be able to mention these things? You meet people a lot of times. Well, I, I, listen, I'll be... This, but we can't speak about it. Because sometimes you're penciled for things and then you're yeah. penciled for other things and then Angelina Jolie comes in and plays the part and then you're <laughs> shafted to the side. So you look like a Muppet if you actually say it. Other times I've been in films, decent parts like, you're the wife of the lead or something. Oh, we'd have to cut 40 minutes at the end, you're gone, snip, snip. And you've told everyone, so you can't, like you look like a Muppet. It must be hard to keep it in though. Um, yeah, I have a bit of a big mouth on me, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I, I, I love a mixture of voiceovers, theatre, stand-up filming um you'd kind of need to have a few milking cows i always say to keep to survive in this game and uh it keeps it interesting as well so with, uh, with heal your hole how can people come and see you? well yeah my website is healyourhole.com or you can go to the bell table or the lime tree to buy tickets um but the other info about the other venues is on um healyourhole.com it's my website you have any uh, social media handles oh yeah norma shane actor on instagram if you want to see mad clips i do nothing sane uh, Twitter, I'm Norma Shane, and Facebook, I don't know what I am. It's connected to Instagram, isn't it? <laughs> it is indeed. Norma, well, thanks very much for coming. Thanks, Keen. Thanks so much. And best of luck. Break a leg or a coccyx. Break your hole. <laughs> <laughs>